What is good, y'all? It is your boy, Zezé the Prince. And we, and we back with another video. Look, y'all. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I think this play needs to happen. I've already talked about this, but I will actually want to get more, even more into detail and in depth about this fight. Look, I believe that Nissan Gibb and Deji needs to toe down. They got to. They got to, y'all. They got to. Let me, look. I, I get it, I get it. They're friends, I get that. But y'all, come on now. You, they're just friends, it's not like they're related. They can fight, bro. Like, come on now. There's a lot of friends that fight, you know, each other for belts, even though, you know, they wouldn't be fighting for no belt, right? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think either one of them got a belt. But, bro, it's not, you know, blood related, they're not, family so you know there's not really no guilt in it you know they are friends though so you know but that shouldn't you know break apart their friendship or nothing nothing like that but they should definitely fight because if you just look at it they have been having pretty impressive performances like okay i understand deji against floyd was very you know like it was, <laughs> you know floyd pretty much did whatever he wanted to do in there but Deji landed a lot. Like, Deji was able to land. And that's... Bro, in six rounds, Deji landed almost the exact... Literally, dang near the exact same amount of punches as Logan did in eight rounds. So, that just shows Deji already has a lot of potential. And he's more accurate with his shots. Now... I will say I will say this, Logan's a lot bigger, so it's a lot easier for him to miss. <laughs> but still, you gotta give Deji credit where credit is due, man. And he actually gave Lloyd a black eye. How many fighters can say they've done that? Deji Olatunji <laughs> gave Floyd Mayweather a black eye. And that sounds crazy. But yes, yeah, so we know Deji has the ability to really do some damage to people especially, you know, in their facial structure. <laughs> but, I mean, we've seen it with Fousey, and we've seen it with uh, Floyd Mayweather. That sounds crazy. But, you guys, De Deji is on a different level now. I feel like he's, he's just so much better than a lot of these influencer boxers, bro, and he will get, he will make any, he will wreak havoc on a lot of, <laughs> On a lot of these influencer boxers, man, his skill is like is really better than. I mean, only person people I can really think like Jake, Jake, and maybe Gibb. Like no, but I would even. I think <laughs> to me, I think Deji is the most skilled fighter in the scene. Oh, and Dean the Great. I think Dean the Great. Dean the Great and Willie Sharp. So he might be. Now I don't know. It's it's hard to say, but Deji's. Definitely up there, at least top three in most technically sound fighters in the YouTube boxing space. And I'm gonna let you guys know, bro. He's going to definitely, like I already said, he's gonna give a lot of problems to these influencer boxers with his just his skill, his speed. He's very precise. You know, he has a gas tank now, and he's been in there with you know Floyd Mayweather. You know, he's <laughs> you definitely could learn a lot from that. You know what I mean? But he was a lot bigger than Floyd. We have to put that into context. So, you know, that's that. But still, this Floyd Mayweather. And like and same what I say with Logan, like he he did go against Floyd Mayweather, so he will he definitely will learn a lot from that. But you you're dang near fifty pounds bigger than him. So so, you know, it, it's like eh, you know what I mean? But still, <laughs> like I said though. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. We're gonna go to Gibb now. I mean, Gibb. He has back-to-back -back wins. He, you know, he he beat um. For, I forgot. What's what's his name? Um, uh, I have the face. I just can't remember the name. And it's weird. Cause I I know his name. Why do I? I I literally know him like heck of good, but I don't know why. Sometimes you just got a brain fart. 
anyway, yeah, but yeah, he he fought. Um, what's it? What you call it? <laughs> he fought what you call it in the first uh, uh, social gloves event. Whooped on him. He you know he beat him pretty precisely, pretty easily. You know, pretty much won every round. I don't know how they even caught that a draw. He won every round. But, but Taylor Holder, that's who it is. He beat Taylor Holder very easily. Because, you know, Taylor Holder didn't even fight back. Okay. Now, we move on to... Now, this one gives him so much validation. Like, it, it really it really solidifies an Isan Gibb as one of the best. Him knocking out my... Man, him knocking out my dog, Austin McBroom, man. Ah, it just, oh my gosh, that, it, that hurt, but, you know, but I like Gibb. I really like Gibb a lot. Like, I, I like Gibb and I like McBroom, so it's like, dang, it's like either one of them would have got beat that bad. You know, it's unfortunate that either one of them had to suffer that because, you know, but it's boxing and, you know, Austin McGib Austin I said I was gonna say Austin McGib, oh my gosh. <laughs> but Austin McGroom had to take his legs and just get up out of there. But man, for him to show pull through as much as first adversity, literally getting knocked down early in the first round, rallying back, just you know, he he lost the second round to domination in the third round. Domination in the fourth and you know, ended it in the fourth round, of course. But it just it wasn't a competition after that second round. Gil was able to really, you know, read him and pick his shots precisely. Austin would come in, chin up. He would come in, chin up. You feel me? Throw wild uppercuts. Look, look, look. That that's what happened basically. So he he throw a lot of just dumb uppercuts and not calling him dumb, but you know, they definitely it wasn't smart shots that you you don't just throw. You don't when you're from distance, you don't just throw an uppercut like that. You know, when you're far distance, man, that you leave yourself open to some devastating shots. And <laughs> devastating there were. Knocked him down on the first one pretty bad. Freaking knocked him out the ring. After that, you, you might as well, <laughs> you out the ring already, you might as well walk to the locker room. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Then, on top of that, uh, the last two, it was like, bro, he got knocked down so bad, bro. The last knockdown, oh my gosh, it was devastating. Like, he was just, he was just, he was just walking in, stumbling, bam, caught him. He just fell flat on his back, and yeah, that was like, that was crazy, bro. And then you know, Gib just in shape, gas tank. He's really looking like a boxer, you know. He just. It's, <laughs> only thing about him is like he's really not athletic so it's like if you're faster than him like clearly Austin McBroom was faster than him but Austin McBroom one didn't have the experience and two he was very he left himself open a lot for a lot of shots I feel like if Austin McBroom would have stuck behind the jab and you know hit him with a, a few power shots like he was Austin McBroom could have won that. Austin McBroom looked horrible in the clinch, very awkward, chin up. You know, it, he just didn't look really good in the clinch. But um, and that's why I, you know, you were able to see Gibb really manhandle him and bully him in the clinch. And that's one thing where it ties into him fighting Deji. I know Anisan Gibb's going to be stronger than Deji. Will he hit harder than Deji? Probably not. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know though. I feel like Gibb is stronger though. I feel like Gibb is stronger, but I don't know who really hits hard. I think I would I would say at Nissan Gibb, usually the stronger fighter would hit hard, you know what I mean? So, uh, but yeah, so I guess you can give the power to a Nissan Gibb, but you can really give the technique and the head movement to um to Deji. You know, he's fought, you know, pretty much better. I mean, He's fought Jake. They both fought Jake. Actually, God dang, they pretty much they're pretty much even as competition <laughs> as competition goes. You know, I think Alex Sabi beats Taylor Holder. I know, I know, I said that. Yes, I do. Y'all can hate on me if y'all want, but I think he wins that fight. Um, and then you know, <laughs> Deji fought Floyd. So you know, the opponents are pretty much even, bro. And it could just you could really see this fight going either way. I don't have a winner. 
yet but if that fight does happen i'll let you guys know of course you know i'm ksi my favorite youtuber and you know by default deji is right there with him so of course i'll be rooting for deji but that don't mean i have no love loss for any son bit but it's been your boys is it a prince we make videos every day i'll make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and follow me on instagram i'll see you on the next one peace